it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. So as you can see, my desk is like kind of a gigantic mess, <laughs> but not really. So here's what I worked on today. Um, if you watched my last video, I think I mentioned that I would be spending like the weekend or, you know, some time on my daughter's, well, everybody's Christmas presents, but I got my daughter's done first, which is almost done actually. So I'll try to turn it so you can see. Let me see if the face is in frame. Okay, there it is. So this is Cumulo the Cloud from True and the Rainbow Kingdom, which is a Netflix show that my daughter loves. It's kind of hard to show because like I'm, it's huge and it's really hard to like show, but it's basically like it has this main head and then these little two, they're kind of like arms slash like, you know, cloud pieces. So it's super huggable and um, very soft. So the paint is still drying on the eyes. Um, I basically, um, I sewed this, the three kind of circles and I stuffed them a little bit more oblong so that it would be more cloud shaped. Then um, I embroidered the mouth. Um, and so the eyes are made from black felt. Then I painted, um, the eye details on and did the shading. Then I, um, Mod Podged over it. Then I've now repainted over it again, and I probably will do another uh, clear coat over it as well, um, yet to be determined. <laughs> so then the cheeks I actually did um, with a Sharpie permanent marker because it gives you that nice shading. So I actually drew it right directly on the fur. Then I Mod Podged over it, and it is so perfect. Like, it's amazing. So... That is Cumulo. So I will get him out of the way and let him go do his drawing. Okay, I'm back. So I also have a project I'm going to be working on next for my son. And I think I might actually work on it tonight a little bit here. Um, but I have to start with ironing the fabric first. So I'm making my son this wild swan plushy um it's from like a vintage um sewing pattern so it's going to look like hopefully <laughs> hopefully you can see this here i don't have my phone with me it's upstairs on the charger so i can't see the camera if like we're in frame okay but um so this is the swan the body of the swan the head of the swan then essentially I have to iron it but then you pin it to this so from the bottom like both sides of the swan you're going to pin to this circle so that when you sew it all together um like first I'll sew these two pieces together and then I will sew the bottom in um and then stuff it it's going to be like a 3d kind of swan <laughs> And so that is for my son. I just have to iron these patterns, um, these pattern pieces. So yeah, that's what's going to happen. I initially like got this fabric. Actually, it's thrifted fabric. It's vintage, like thrifted fabric. And I was going to make my daughter like a skirt out of it. I really like making um, garments out of like things that are designed to be something else like blankets, toys, etc. But today I saw this and I was like, this would be great for him. He would love this. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, um, what else? So I did this today too. It's the fabric strips that I'm going to be sewing um, on the edges of the Rainbow Bright journals. So that's some of them. I don't know if that's all of them yet or not. We'll have to see, um, but they're there and I'm gonna start working on those shortly. Um, oh, and then I got like some super old um aliexpress mail well not super old but probably like a month old some of it's older than others this actually isn't that old um i ordered these quite some time ago though <laughs> so if you're ever wondering like what stationery at aliexpress can be like this is an example so hold on one second i'm gonna get my sticker folder book thing is a little bit overstuffed but that's okay so 
Um, this is from, I think, yeah, two different shops. So the first shop is just this item. So these stickers are um, like vellum stickers that are gold and black and white. Um, let's open this. So the, the nice thing actually is that, um, sorry, I just hear kid chatting about something. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption. I just had to go see what was going on. There was like kid shouting going on. <laughs> you never know what could be happening. Everything's fine. Um, so yeah, the, the stationery that you order from um, the companies on AliExpress actually normally is very nicely put together. They have some really nice stationery shops. Um, just kind of be mindful because some things the prices are decent and some things they're really not like you've got to really pay attention on these sites um but yeah these are pretty i really wanted some nice gold like um botanicals yeah all sorts of beautiful gold and black and white so these i have this folder it's like it's honestly kind of over jammed at this point, but I keep <laughs> these stickers in this folder. Um, for some reason, these ones are in backwards. I don't know why. Let's flip those around. There we go. Okay. So these can all just actually stuff in here. And I just keep this little, it's actually just a little photo album. Um, I know people make some really fancy ephemera folders. <laughs> But come on, this is the the hulking, chunky sticker folder, right? And that's actually pretty. I could probably use that in a collage or something. Um, and then these are stamps. Um, this is all from the same company, I think. Yeah. So this is um, a foam stamp. And um, it should be these mushrooms. So that's what it is. It's a mushroom stamp. And those are the mushrooms. And they look like little stamps. So I'll probably actually just put this with my stamps. Um, and then this one I thought was really cute because it's like sign language. That's all the signed letters and the um, and symbol. Ampersand as it's known. Very cute. And then this is hummingbirds and other little birds. And some butterflies, bees, and moths. Opening packages. There we go. Yeah, it's like shaped like a tag, which is kind of nice. So, I could probably reuse these envelopes for something as well. And then the last, actually, second last, this is Deco, Deco Stickers. Um, Space, mostly space themes. So this is for like a journal that I want to make, like that's going to be all sort of space, so, uh, celestial kind of themes. And I needed a few extra things. Or even just like some inspiration. So I liked these vellum stickers. They're really nice um, because like they're transparent. So they look really nice. And there's some papers in here as well. It's just kind of like a mixed sort of like ephemera pack. Some of the ephemera um, that you get on like places like AliExpress can be so like 
I guess, badly translated or strange. Like what I notice is a lot of it is like weird old, um, I guess it's trying to look like old labels from medicines and stuff, but like a lot of stuff I've gotten is literally just like a poison, <laughs> like poisons, you know, and like it's kind of uh, a little weird to use that kind of thing in a journal a lot of the time. I mean, there are certain journals that call for it, certainly, but well, it looks like there's some like little, yeah, like little kind of wannabe stamps and tickets and things. They'd be okay in collage. I don't use a lot of tiny things like this in my journals because it's sort of, I don't know, just not my style. And these are like little pockets and things like that. So what I mainly wanted this for was just the moon stickers, which I'm happy with. Those are perfect. Um, Because I don't need very many of them. I just needed a few for a journal. Okay. I am definitely like running out of space in this sticker book so all those ephemera folders that I was just talking about hmm I don't have time to make one there's a nope that's not an empty spot <laughs> oh no here they can go in here actually this is not completely filled yet so I'm gonna believe there we go okay then one more Um, this one I think is mostly mushroom themed. Because you know I'm a fan of mushrooms. So yeah. Ooh. Sorry, that would just be my paper cutter. One second, it's going to pick it up. <laughs> there we go. Oh well. Okay. Um, so yeah, these are all like mushroom themes. Very cute little things. Yep, just mushroom stickers and a few little papers and some stamps and stuff. Very cute. Okay. There we go. Sorry, my, if you can hear banging around and stuff, that would be my daughter. She is four, and that's what four is. It is adventure and um, essentially just a lot of noise making. <laughs> All different ways of making noise. She knows them. She is down with noise. Um, but they are getting ready for a bath, so there's going to be a little bit of peace. A little bit of quiet. I'll be right back. I'm just going to move this stuff. So what to do now? Um, my options are I could work on more ephemera for the Rainbow Bright Journal. I have, I did finish a few things actually. Um, this morning I think or last night I did this and I did this. Yeah. So those two things are ready. Um, I could work on that or I could iron this fabric. Let me see, is my ironing board here? So it is. But I don't know if my iron is plugged, or not plugged in, but ready to be plugged in. Let me see. Okay, my iron is plugged in, so maybe while that's heating up, um, I will move this out of the way. <laughs> yeah, my desk is too jammed right now. Too jammed. <laughs> that's okay. It's not going to stay that way. So, maybe I could work on something with this little bitty thing I've been trying to use up these um I got all these paint strip samples like I have tons of these they're like they come on 
these big paint sample packs like so I've been trying to use them up and this one is all neutrals which is like not necessarily rainbow bright but it's okay um because I can make it rainbow bright and they're great for like a tag because um some of them are already cut to this uh tag shape So I'm just going to glue this down on this book page and then I will back it after, but for now it's going on a book page just to hold it in place. Oh, yeah. I always hate when there's like a loop or a part of a um, piece of paper that doesn't have the paper because then you get this big gobble glue <laughs> that gets stuck in the little section that doesn't have paper. There we go. Okay. But that's glued down. It's all good. And then, of course, I'm using my glue book, so I don't have my glue book. There we go. Okay. So I think I'm just going to center this maybe like right here. And then decide what to do. Maybe using like some scraps or something. I have a lot of scraps. No. My scrap bin is just to the point where it is just too big and I really need to like go through it. But who wants to do that? Not me. Okay, my iron is heated up now. I can tell, I think I heard the little click. So, let me grab my iron. Okay. So, I have all these little floofs from that <laughs> cumulo cloud um, and stuffing it, but that's okay. I'll be uh, cleaning this up. I actually just got this cordless um, hand vac. It's a shark brand. I got it for on sale um, and it is the greatest thing ever. You can just like, oh, it's so nice to have like a handheld, more modern kind of hand vacuum. It's amazing especially in a studio. I was recently talking to my girlfriend about like um, how everything needs to be wireless, like how it's so hard to deal with things when they're not wireless and you have all these cords everywhere. So this iron is wireless. It's so great cordless. Everything needs to be cordless. I remember when I first got this iron, the weirdest thing happened. Like I bought it from... Amazon and I got the delivery notification. I've, I've never had anything go missing from Amazon ever, ever, ever. And so I, I got the delivery notification. Like I get them live on my phone. So like, you know, when I get the notification, typically it's been on my porch for a minute and it's pretty instantaneous. So I went outside and it wasn't there. So I typically will check my phone and see, did they send me a picture so I can see what the picture looks like. And if it shows, you know, one of my neighbor's front doors, then I know that the driver has left it on the wrong porch. I've had that happen many times. Um, so I will just kind of wander over and <laughs> grab my, my thing off the porch, but there was no picture. And it was the first time ever that I haven't had 
like for, well not ever but like at that time they were always sending me pictures and this was the first time that they didn't so I was like this is so weird so um I ended up reporting like you know the next day because sometimes they do goof up and you know it's not delivered um and so I gave them a day and then the next day it still hadn't been delivered so um I contacted them on at the time they had a chat service but I don't think that they do anymore so so it's really weird. I've also found if you look on Amazon now, it's really like um, difficult to find out how to return something or if something didn't arrive. And I think, you know, that's obviously by intention because of everything they're dealing with with COVID. You know, it's just one of those weird things that I don't like. So um anyways so yeah I couldn't find I, I didn't get this iron so then the guy on the chat said well do you want us to send another one or do you want a refund I said well no send another one because like I need this iron <laughs> so he said okay no problem I will dispatch one to you for tomorrow and I said okay great so I got the new iron and then a week later um, I was outside and I was getting things ready for garbage day, like my garbage cans and my recycle bins and stuff. They all live in front of my garage in the top of my driveway, which is like beside my house, um, like beside my porch. So not on my porch. Um, and so it had been a rainy week like from the day that I had gotten the iron delivered it was raining it was still raining on garbage day so I went out to get everything tidied up to put out the garbage and so long story short my municipality switched from like little recycle boxes to the large recycle cans a few years ago um, and I was away from home on the day where you could put your recycle bin and your old green bin out um, for them to collect it like the old ones and so I still have them I don't know what to do with them um, I don't know where to take them <laughs> I can't figure it out so they just sit in the top of my driveway um, beside my new bins so I gotta deal with it but I haven't so like the recycle box has been there forever like for weeks like that and it was actually upside down so that it wouldn't fill up with rain because I hate mosquitoes and I don't like to leave any water areas where water can collect for them so I don't know why I did it but like <laughs> I was getting the garbage ready and I think I either accidentally kicked the blue box or I just picked it up to move it because it was like moved or something and the original iron <laughs> was underneath the um the old blue box in my driveway and I'm like, why would you put it there? Like, that makes no sense whatsoever. That's not somewhere anybody would look. Um, you know, it it was impossible to find. Like, it was so weird. Like, it's like, literally, why wouldn't you just leave it on the porch? Like, I have my porch. It's very easy to hide things on. I have, like, a chair. I have usually some big piece of furniture that I'm either getting rid of or something. like I always have something going on in and out of my house so like there's all these pillars you can put behind this pillar on my porch there's like brick pillars I, I have no idea what would have made him leave it in the driveway beside the garbage can underneath an old blue box that was upside down it was the most puzzling thing ever but like I felt bad so I came back in and I went to my desk and I got on the chat with the Amazon people and told them what happened. And the girl said, you know what, just keep it, just keep the second iron. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, <laughs> for us, it doesn't matter. So I said, okay, thanks. So I actually now have an iron for batik, which is perfect because you always ruin your iron when you're doing batik because the wax always sticks to it like no matter what you do and then I have my regular fabric iron so I got double spoiled because of this weird scenario <laughs> I did try to give it back but they weren't having it so but that's okay you know most things that like you do um return to Amazon if you try to do a return you know that like they they would just go in the garbage or they go into like auctions of returns that people 
you can buy like a thousand dollars worth of Amazon returns, that kind of thing. Like, um, there's actually like YouTube channels that are based entirely around that mysterious concept of like, you know, I spent $2,000 on Amazon returns and then they do like an unboxing kind of thing. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a thing like they don't really, um, take stuff back. So, I mean, sometimes I'm guessing they do sometimes. I'm sure they have like a claims department that they, um, you know, try to run their, their stuff through. And if it doesn't get, um, refunded or if they can't resell it easily, like I'm sure it's just for them too inconvenient to deal with. So at the, at the, um, numbers that they operate. So, so that's the trouble with the world is, you know, we have to be careful when we're making purchases, try to be like, as uh, eco-friendly as you can because a lot of stuff ends up in the garbage in, in many different stages. I feel like something fell over here. Oh, there it is. My paint bottle. There we go. Okay. Um, too many scraps. It's kind of a sleepy day today. Um, it's very rainy and cold outside and um, I have not even been outside today. It's pretty bad but I was so busy today and I had like my son, he is just going through a stage right now of like wanting to be held all the time and not sleeping well but um, we changed up sleeping arrangements last night because that's what you do with kids. You just you keep trying new things until something sticks and so last night I slept in my bed with my daughter my bed's a king size like it's a California king size bed it's a huge bed and my daughter is only four years old and she's tiny but she can take up an entire king size bed in no time and um, that's what sleeping with her is like she just cranks her body sideways and you know before you know it her feet are lying on your face and you're like where am I what is going on so that was last night um it wasn't too bad what I do is like she won't stay on her side of the bed so she wants to like lie right close to me which is great except that like you can't move you can't like turn over and I'm like a roly I'm, I mean I'm probably just like her and that I move a lot so um I I will wait until she falls asleep and then I actually sleep upside down in my bed and that way um she's at the other end of the bed and so she's like not all crammed up next to me while I'm trying to sleep and move around so that is one way that I that I compensate and then my husband just slept with our son in my daughter's room last night and he has a new little floor mattress that he's sleeping on and it actually worked like he only woke up two times um and it was like one o'clock and 4 30 which is sort of right before we get up anyways because um, my husband works early in the morning so yeah it actually was a little better and I think we all got a bit of sleep and that is a good thing. Okay. Now I need to just cut this out. Um, I can still see the tagline. This side I definitely can. There we go. What else did I do today other than work? Um, well, I worked on that toy, so I got that done. My work is starting a little bit to slow down, but and there's always somebody who's not slowing down. It's always those people. It's just been the strangest year for work. But I do think we're getting closer to like this being over. I'm just starting to feel it. like. I guess because, you know, all the vaccines are being, like, tested and some places they're actually even being 
um, given out. So we'll see where that goes. Uh-oh, we're stuck. See, this is why I don't like, there we go. This is why I don't like these. I was easy though. I can't complain. These stamps can be so cantankerous, like so cantankerous. I just want to trim that little white bit off the end. There we go. Um, what else does this need other than a hole? Or possibly not. Maybe I will just do it like a top for it. What do I have? Um, I totally want one of those. They don't make them anymore. But I've seen them online. Like, I guess the company stamping up has discontinued them. I don't know. Like, is that company still in business? I'm not, like, into... I, I don't know a lot about these things. Um, <laughs> I don't buy a lot of those kind of supplies. But they had this, like tag kind of or this like punch that was called a whale tail and it's like it creates sort of this like top this nice top for like something like this and I was like that's really cool but they're discontinued so no fun though I don't really need those kind of things I'm like I'm okay just doing creative stuff all the time trying to like figure things out that's why I do things like this I can hear my dog barking so we have this squirrel that frequents our backyard and it is the most obese squirrel I have ever seen in my entire life like this thing is huge it doesn't even look like a squirrel anymore it it like has no neck and its face is like this kind of like triangular like <laughs> It is the biggest squirrel ever and it comes to our yard because we have an apple tree and um, admittedly I did not clean up all the garden stuff at the end of the year. Um, I just didn't. <laughs> I never do. I always like leave a lot of stuff in the garden because that is volunteer plants, you know. You gotta um, respect your volunteer plants. So he'll come and he'll steal tomatoes and things like that. And so that's what he's been doing. Oops, I need to back this still. Um, and so he's been like hanging around and um, my dog's always barking him, but he's the biggest squirrel. I don't know. I see him go by sometimes and like not just me, but my husband. We have both on separate occasions. We have seen him run by with a huge piece of bread in his mouth, like a baguette or something, like a whole entire baguette. So he's obviously found some source for like pastries or something. I've seen him with um, like a croissant and I've seen him with a bagel in his mouth. Like he's getting bread, copious amounts of it from somewhere. So I don't know, but I can tell you that bread it's really packing the weight on <laughs> this poor squirrel because <laughs> he is huge although i guess it's winter time so that's a good thing i think i just want to maybe trim no that's okay actually i like that as it is Sorry, this is a tricky angle. <laughs> this is a very, I feel like I need to cut this with my wrong hand or something. There we go. Okay. Then, I 
maybe a piece of hmm something Yeah. There we go. I feel like I'm being so quiet. I think it's because I'm just enjoying the quiet. I get very little quiet, guys. <laughs> Do I want to glue this on or sew it on? I think I kind of want to just glue it on because then it won't have any stitching over those cute. It's a very fine detailed piece of lace. I'm so looking forward to the holidays. It's going to be so nice not to have to think about anything but like eggnog and um, sitting on the couch. <laughs> And maybe getting some like time to knit that would be nice I've done so little knitting this year it's weird but I guess I've been doing a lot of other stuff so I never beat myself up anymore about the things that I don't do I, I used to do it all the time but like I do a lot of stuff so I can't like I can't beat myself up about those things anymore it makes no sense Okay, so I think that's done. I'm happy with that. Hmm. Well, I think that that will be it for now. I'm just um, kind of sleepy and I think I will probably sew that swan together. So if I get that done, I will show it to you tomorrow. I'll try to plan something tomorrow that I can um, work on. I, I really want to dig into these Rainbow Bright journals. Um, I'm going to try to just get a bunch of stuff done on them. And then I also think I might start um, probably spinning some stuff. So I might do a spinning video. I'm trying to finish up um, my batik video as well. So yeah, that's what's coming. So thank you so much for joining Sleepy Me tonight. And I hope you have a really nice evening. And um, I will talk to you tomorrow. If you are having, you know, a nice moment here and you'd like to join me, please subscribe. Um, I make videos usually most days. And um, yeah, all my info is down in the description box. Thank you so much. Bye.